familiarity with everything. Part of getting to that next level, Coach, is getting everybody confident on the same page. Do you feel like your team is making the move in that direction? We are. You know, it's a, a team of unknowns. Okay. You know, just a little less than half of our football team will be new this year. and They haven't gone through the rigors of a, of a SEC football season, the natural adversities that the football season presents from time management, being a student athlete. So it's going to be how fast can we jump that learning curve. You talk about the new guys, and there's been a lot made about the quarterback situation. But it seems like the offensive line situation may have been overlooked a little bit when you're replacing so much. Is that at least at least as much of a key as the quarterback? Well, it is. It's a great challenge. We're the only team in the country who not only has to replace their entire offensive line, but the defensive line as well. And as we all know, it's a line of scrimmage league. The games are one up front. But, uh, you know, that's what makes college football exciting is about a third of you know, each roster turns over with graduation. It lends itself to new opportunities for everyone. And, you know, all five of those individuals uh, have to come together, and it's new opportunities for them. But it's the overall depth, and it's going to be a great challenge for us. I went back to that, and, you know, it's hard to believe that there isn't an individual in Tennessee football's football program right now from a player standpoint that has participated in a bowl game. And uh, so that's one step that we have to work to get back. But for this football team, it's the power of one. One moment at a time, one day at a time, one snap at a time, one practice at a time. And we just have to continue to progress, put our head down, and get better week in and week out. Want to learn. They're hungry. And our older players have done a great job of really mentoring our younger players in terms of the standard, the expectations now that are set forth in our football program. So I like coaching a team like that. You know, and I, and I think you know that's why we just have to focus one day at a time. You mentioned on signing day that you like the mental makeup of what you signed after you've been around them, essentially now some of them for six months and some right. for six or eight weeks. Do you feel better about their mental makeup? About I do. what you thought? I mean, what, what do you think you have there? I feel I feel uh, as good as I did on signing day, and even from a genetic standpoint, we have individuals. You know, freshmen that have, you know, came to campus in June and they've already put 20, 25 pounds on, uh, really improve, uh, improve their strength, you know, their speed. And everything is about improving our overall team speed. You know, that was evident last year on the special teams game. I think that's where it really shows you your overall team speed. You know, we have to get faster. We have to get bigger in, in all three phases, offense, defense, special teams. But, again, just their drive, their drive to be the best. We want individuals who come to the University of Tennessee that seek a degree and want to play on Sundays and are driven to be the best that they can possibly be to reach their fullest potential. And they're pushing each other, they're pushing our older players.